Hey, what's your boys? I'm on one to one today. As for me, well, uh, curious, actually. Uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're talking about solo leveling and some potential things that may be happening around it. Uh, I may not have been reporting on anime and manga news in, in a while. Uh, I hopefully plan to get back into it now that I have more time, but also streaming a bit too, so we can check out my schedule and that sort of thing, you can see a community tab and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but uh, today's topic of the video, today's topic, video, video topic of today, uh, is about solo leveling. And I know a bunch of stuff in the past week got announced, especially through Crunchyroll. Uh, there was solo leveling, there was Tomo-chan, who's a girl, uh, sequel season of things I can't remember right now, but the big news for me was solo leveling. It was something I talked about over a year ago, and a friend of mine got me reading it, and I was like, oh yeah, this is great, this is good shit. I haven't finished it yet, I need to get to it. My fault, so I'm sorry, sir. If you're watching this, I will get to it. Uh, anyway, so what is the actual big news today? Well, um... You know, you like you like when you get an, an adaptation of something that does well. Uh, so, of course, you need to, you know to change a few things here and there when it's an adaptation to a different medium. Um, in this case, for solo leveling, it might be a little unfortunate because if you can see this right here, anime time. Uh, I've never heard of them, but I'm, so I'm, I'm unsure about their credibility. So the title here is quite clickbait. Uh, understandably, solo leveling anime won't be following the original manhwa. So. I don't know if that's pronounced correctly, but that, that, that sounds scary. Now, if we continue down here, we're wondering why uh, a lot of people are, uh, in Japan at least, because everywhere else, kind of not a problem. Uh, J Japanese people seem to have, a, some people at least audience-wise, have the sentiment that the book is anti-Japan, not book, but the, the webcomic is anti-Japan. Uh, and why is that? Well, there are a few characters that me and a friend have talked about that say, well, they were dicks, yes. They were Japanese, yes. Were they antagonists? Yes. But were they trying to represent Japan as a whole in a bad night? No. And uh, continuing to see what might be hints of like things being changed here and there uh, is this right here, as you can see this image. The trailers that Japan and the rest of the world, or at least Korea and uh, Japan, are very different in wh how they name their characters. And this could mean they're going with a Japanese light novel adaptation, which I didn't know existed until today. And so in that light novel, we have Shun Mizushino instead of Song Jin Woo. And I'm sorry I'm mispronouncing those names, but there's a difference there, a very stark difference. So people can be, I'm concerned that they might be actually doing the light novel version instead. Because I had a concern in a similar sense, and again, this is when way back when they released uh, with Crunchyroll, I believe, yeah, Crunchyroll Originals, uh, Tower of God. Now, I didn't read it, so I don't know a lot of context. They did, I know from friends, they changed a few words here and there, um, and uh, from that understanding there, uh, I also complained about, hey, wait, why is our main character being named, but then the subtitles say something else? And I can't remember the names, but they definitely had a different name, and Crunchyroll, like, excused out saying, ah, oh, we wanted to be like the... Uh, the similar, but then also make it very weeb to weeb bait people because even though it's Korean thing, why not just go with the Korean work? So I'm not only harping on America for censorship or, or changing things. Japan is very guilty as well too because I think they had a Japanese studio do that because I think the name was Yoru and the, the main character's name is not Yoru, but Yoru does mean knight in Japanese. But it was like it's, you didn't have to go through these layers of censorship, right? And I did have a second article kind of com just t talking about the anti-Japan stuff, but it's not really much. Just why do they not like it? Because they made them antagonists. Uh, their worry is, oh, they're, they're making uh, A1 Pictures, is the animation studio. And I do like the choice in composer. Uh, Hiroyuki Sawano, mm -hmm. beautiful work from Attack on Titan and Surf of the End, especially Surf of the End, I love that. But anyways, uh, yeah, they, they seem like, oh, A1 Pictures is betraying us. So this is where I'm curious where things might go. I'm going to switch back. Uh, just a quick little you know, thing today. I don't know how you guys feel about it. I have M1 has been very strong about censorship and, and changing messages of items, uh, even from the West, as in from Crunchyroll, Funimation, and all their kind of bullshit of, of uh, you know, translating and localizing for kids. I mean, that's the early times, okay? You can excuse a little bit of that. Um, so I don't like that a Japanese 
this company or studios are saying, "Hey, we don't want to make Japan look bad. Make you know, it's only certain characters." So I don't like it. I want to hear your thoughts about this in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Boop.